Hey everybody, welcome back to a Rodenberg Rocks video. Instead of looking for some rocks and some rivers or along the shores of Lake Superior, we are in a nice large gravel pit here. Um, I'm in the gravel pits in the Moose Lake area. Um, there's a few different ones you can get a, a permit to come look for. So been here once before, stayed here for a little bit, found a couple agates, but I thought I'd decided to to bring you along, see if we can make some finds and just explore kind of a new terrain of, of where some agates might be. So without further ado, thanks for joining along and let's go look at some finds that we had. Well, I'm back for a second day at the gravel pit here in the Moose Lake area. It's been digging around. I think we've picked our first piece. This one's scraping, looks like right here. Oh yeah, that little well, that's a beautiful sized chunk. Some nice red, some nice bandings in there. Oh, oh, we lost it. There it is. Yeah, it's a great first piece to be back. There's a nice little glower right here. There's the eyes in there. Very nice. I'm wearing gloves too, because I'm using a little spade there. And last time I came, I got some bad blisters. So I wanted to uh, prepare myself in case I want to do a lot more digging. So here we go. All right, not quite sure what this one is. I did a little brushing around the dirt just to see. I can't tell if there's band, those are bands or if it's just quartz. I got a little spray, but starting to look like it might be just a piece of quartz that I was a little a little excited about but oh. oh wow that's part of the hunting game is picking up a lot of stuff that isn't agates so put you right back there just doing a little bit more glancing on the surface putzing around you can see that bright red little shiner right there can't see too many bands in there, but it's definitely, definitely a nodule. Nope. But take that home and get that one cleaned up. Ooh. I think I've only been here 45 minutes to an hour and it is hot out. I have a, a more, more appreciative mindset for the people that their only agate hunting experience is in these pits because it is hot it's a lot of work but i can see why you you put in that big work and can get some large eggs in this area but i think i'm spoiled getting to to walk around the rivers and the the great lake uh superior looking for these agates but it's definitely an adventure looking for these i found a couple ones um hoping to find some big guys but obviously that takes patience and and some diligence Last time I came here, there was people that sat in the same spot for like hours on end, just striking, digging into the dirt further and further and further, hoping to maybe come across across a big one like that. I am more experienced with the surface level agate hunting, so seeing and digging for agates that might be dirtier, I might miss. So, um, yeah, overall, I just wanted to give an update that I am more appreciative for the people that do hunt here because this is this is crazy. And again, last time I was here, again, there's my car way up there. But last time I was here, there was probably five, six, seven cars, vehicles here, all digging. And it is a Sunday, um, so not many people are here. So I got the whole place to myself. But yeah, we're gonna make our way all the way around and then probably call it a day. I just picked up this piece. Kind of reminds me and it gives me that feeling that it's a piece of petrified wood. Kind of looks like it's got this exterior bark here, some layers on the side here, but haven't found too many pieces like this, even in the rivers or creeks. I don't know if it's not common in Minnesota, but definitely something I plan to take home. So it's always a nice find. See, these are the rocks that I probably refuse to dig through, even though they're probably host, probably the larger I get just because it is so dense to even dig through there, especially even with a spade of some sorts. 
I mean, if you want to pick rocks one by one and look at them and just find that relaxing, maybe that's the way to do it, but I'm not doing it on a sunny day. And most people I see come here have hats and little shade covering, so that helps, but you no, know, I'll stick to the, the dirt piles and hope I strike something lucky. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. I didn't last as long as I thought I was gonna make it out there. Like I said, it was my second time being here, but just the heat, the direct sunlight, I think it's, it's 87 degrees out right now, which is pretty hot without any shade. So I definitely should have prepared more with either some more gear to protect me from the sun, more water. Um, but live and learn. Uh, next time we'll be, be a little bit more prepared, but overall, good hunt good experience uh, I am gonna post a little short after this uh, ending of the video and show you one of the rocks that I found last time I hunted here not sure if it's an agate or not it's probably about a pound in size but it's got a lot of qualities uh, that I think could be an agate just need might may need to be cut open so um, otherwise thanks for watching the video and we'll see you next time okay it's been about another 15 minutes and I think I found a keeper. I already sprayed it. I'm a little hesitant because I don't know because I got no visible bands on it. But I mean, it's got that limonite staining, that potatoy skin. I mean, there's these red characteristics in there, but I cannot see if these are actually banded in there or not. But this is for sure one I'm taking home. Eventually, it cut open, but I mean, I am. Barely certain that's an agate, but like, holy smokes, that is, look at the size of that. We'll find out. So here's the rock that I, I picked out of the, the gravel pits over there in Moose Lake. Um, the one that I can, I personally cannot see anything visible that would let me know that this has bands in it or if it's an agate, but very limonite stained, obviously. Got these conchoidal indents or fractures, as some people call them, too. But it just definitely gives me the, the vibes of an agate. It's definitely one that I want to cut open and just see what's on the inside sometime. But size was phenomenal it was worth the digging if, if this is what it turns out to be um and if not we'll still be back so just wanted to show that off a little bit better in the light um, yeah otherwise we'll see uh this in a later video cut open so that's gonna wrap it up for this video um like I said, I got a bunch of rocks that I'd like to cut open at some point. I'm starting to accumulate more and more. So in the short future here, we're going to figure out how to cut them open and, and find some cool bands within them. Otherwise, thanks for just joining along with the journey and, and continuing to watch the channel. And we'll see you next video.